क्वेश्चन इज क्वेश्चन नंबर 18 वी वांट द वैल्यू ऑफ दिस एक्सप्रेशन एंड दीज आर द ऑप्शंस गिवन टू अस नाउ सी द न्यूमरेटर फर्स्ट न्यूमरेटर हैज द पावर्स ऑफ x प्लस वाई एंड x माइनस वाई विच आर ऑलरेडी देयर इन फ्रैक्शंस सो वी विल नॉट चेंज द न्यूमरेटर फर्स्ट नाउ सी द डिनोमिनेटर x प्लस वाई अंडर रूट सो अंडर रूट वी नो is the power 1 upon 2 and similarly here also we can write x minus y cube under root so in place of under root we will write first the power as 1 upon 2 because we know that under root a is equal to a to the power 1 upon 2 so we have the numerator as it is which is x plus y To the power two by three into x minus y to the power three upon two, and denominator we will write x plus y to the power one upon two into x minus y to the power three upon two. Now three upon two we have written because here x minus y has power three when we take under root of it, so power will be. 1 upon 2, so powers when multiplied will give us power as 3 upon 2 of x minus y, and whole power is 6. This is the simplified way. Now x minus y to the power 3 upon 2 and x minus y to the power 3 upon 2 are cancelled. Now see the power of x plus y. Here the power is 2 by 3. and here the power is 1 by 2 so when we take this as numerator then the power will become minus because in division when we because in division we know that a to the power m upon a to the power n upon a to the power n is equal to a to the power m minus n so here x plus y will have power 2 upon 3 minus 1 upon 2 and whole power 6 is as it is now simplify 2 by 3 minus 1 upon 2 so 2 by 3 minus 1 upon 2 lcm will be 6 here we get 4 minus 3 so power will be 1 upon 6 so we have x plus y to the power 1 upon 6 and whole has power 6 now 1 upon 6 and this 6 will be multiplied so power will be 1 and hence we get the value as x plus y so here the final value is x plus y our option c is correct simplified value of this expression is and these are the options given to us now we know that under root when we write of any number say a then it means power as 1 upon 2 and when we write cube root of any number say a then that means that power is 1 upon 3 this value is a to the power 1 upon 3 so when we apply this thing here first term will be 125 to the power 2 upon 3 second is under root 25 and we know this means 5 because we know that under root 25 is 5 now 5 to the power 3 then cube root of it means 5 because power here will become 3 by 3 which is 1 5 to the power 1 is 5 so we directly write it as 5 and fourth term we write as it is which is 5 to the power 1 upon 2 now 125 is 5 to the power 3 and that power 3 cancels this 3 so we get 5 to the power 2 as first term second term is 5 to the power 1 which is 5 third is 5 and fourth is 5 to the power 1 upon 2 now base is same in all so powers will be added 
we get 5 to the power 2 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 upon 2 which is equal to 5 to the power 4 and half which is 5 to the power 4 and half which here is option none of these. So the simplified value of this is 5 raised to the power 4 and half and, and option here is none of these. Our next question is an expression is given and we are to find which of these options is correct. Now in this expression we find here that 4 is written which can be written as 2 raised to the power 2. Here 8 is written which can be written as 2 raised to the power 3. 16 can be written as 2 raised to the power 4 and 32 can be written as 2 raised to the power 5 and we will simplify it. So this expression becomes 2 raised to the power 1 upon 2 will be the first term. Second will be 2 raised to the power 2 within bracket whole to the power 3 by 4. Third term will be 2 raised to the power 3 raised to the power 5 by 6. Fourth will be 2 raised to the power 4 whole raised to the power 7 upon 8. And last will be 2 raised to the power 5 whole raised to the power 9 upon 10 and then within bracket power 4 and power 3 upon 25 are as it is. Now this expression when we write each term as 2 raised to the power then it reduces to like this. Now we simplify it so we get 2 raised to the power 1 upon 2 of course is the first term. Now in second term when this power 2 is multiplied by 3 upon 4 it becomes 3 upon 2. So next term will be 2 raised to the power 3 upon 2. Next will be when 2 raised to the power 3 and the power 3 is multiplied by 5 upon 6 it becomes 5 upon 2. So Next term is 2 raised to the power 5 upon 2. Next will be accordingly we can write 2 raised to the power 7 upon 2 and the last term will be 2 raised to the power 9 upon 2 whole raised to the power 4 whole raised to the power 3 upon 25. These powers are as it is. Now we simplify this curly basis thing. Now we know that if the base is same then the powers are added. So we get in curly braces 2 raised to the power 1 upon 2 plus 3 upon 2 plus 5 upon 2 plus 7 upon 2 plus 9 upon 2. This comes in the curly braces. Its power is 4 and the whole power is 3 upon 25 which are as it is. Now these powers are to be added. So LCM will be 2 and numerator will be 1 plus 3 plus 5 plus 7 plus 9 which comes as 25. So this becomes 2 raised to the power 25 upon 2 to the power 4 whole raised to the power 3 upon 25. Now we find here that this 25 upon 2 is to be multiplied by 4 is to be multiplied by 3 upon 25. So 25 and this 25 are cancelled. 2 cancels this 4 by 2 times. So we get this as 2 raised to the power 6. Let us understand it again. This 25 upon 2 is to be multiplied by 4 is to be multiplied by 3 upon 25 because powers will be multiplied. So this 25 cancels this 25, 2 cancels 4 2 times and 2 multiplied by 3 is 6. So we get 2 raised to the power 6. Now 2 raised to the power 6 we know is 64 
which is an integer because we know that set of integers is when we have negative numbers and positive numbers the set of integer is like this so this falls in this category and hence our option b is correct the value of given expression is an integer now we will see the next problem next question is that we are to find the value of this given expression and these are the options given to us now here we note that in this small bracket power is given as minus 1 and we know by laws of indices that a raised to the power minus m is 1 upon a to the power m so this small bracket can be written as 1 upon 1 minus x square so we get this expression as 1 minus 1 minus 1 upon 1 minus x square in curly braces whole to the power minus 1 whole to the power minus 1 upon 2 what we have done in this step we have simplified this 1 minus x square to the power minus 1 which is in the small bracket and written it as 1 upon 1 minus x square because a to the power minus m is 1 upon a to the power m now to simplify this curly braces we can take lcm as 1 minus x square so we get 1 minus in curly braces 1 minus x square is the lcm 1 multiplies 1 minus x square which gives us 1 minus x square minus 1 this minus 1 is as it is whole to the power minus 1 to the power minus 1 upon 2 now simplifying this curly braces we cancel 1 by this minus 1 and now we find that the curly braces has power minus 1 so again with this formula this 1 minus x square will go on the top will become numerator and minus x square will come in the denominator now this minus when multiplies this minus it will become plus so simplifying this we get 1 plus 1 minus x square upon x square whole to the power minus 1 upon 2 let us understand it again this curly braces when simplified we find that power here is minus 1 now when minus 1 power is there then 1 minus x square will go in the top and will become numerator denominator will be minus x square and then this minus is multiplied by this minus will give us plus now again simplifying this we get x square as lcm we get x square will be multiplied by this one gives us x square plus one minus x square whole to the power minus one upon two x square and x square are cancelled now see 1 to the power minus 1 by 2 is 1 any any power to 1 is 1 so in numerator we get 1 and in denominator when power 2 is multiplied by minus 1 by 2 this gives us x to the power minus 1 and 1 upon x to the power minus 1 can be written as x so our option a here is correct now we will see the next problem our next question is x raised to the power l upon x raised to the power m whole raised to the power l square plus l m plus m square other terms are like this which are in cyclic manner then the value is 0 1 x or none of these now we will see the first term see first term what we have written here is in bracket can be written as x to the power l minus m whole to the power given power is l square plus l m plus 
m square. Now we know that this l minus m will be multiplied by l square plus l m plus m square because we know that a raised to the power m whole raised to the power n is a raised to the power m into n. So this l minus m will be multiplied by l square plus l m plus m square. Now we have the formula that a minus b into a square plus a b plus b square is a cube minus b cube. By algebra, we know this formula that a minus b into a square plus a b plus b square is a cube minus b cube. So, this accordingly, when l minus m is multiplied by l square plus l m plus m square is l cube minus m cube. So, our first term can be written as x raised to the power l cube minus m cube. Now, since other terms are written in cyclic manner, that is, in place of l, we have m, in place of m, we have n, and in other term, in place of m, we have n, and in place of n, we have l. l, m, n are written in other terms in cyclic manner, so, the second term by symmetry will be x to the power m cube minus n cube and third term will be x to the power n cube minus l cube. These three terms are under multiplication and base is same in all which is x. So, powers will be added and the, when powers will be added, we find that m cube and m cube are cancelled, n cube and n cube are cancelled, l cube and l cube are cancelled. When we add the powers, these powers are cancelled and we get x to the power 0. And any number raised to the power 0, we know is 1 and hence the value of this expression is b which is 1.